Saturn is one of the most intriguing celestial bodies in the solar system. Scientists continue to explore the legacy of the spacecraft Cassini, which investigated this planet until 2017. Hello, everyone. Scientists are engaged in ongoing discussions and presenting new hypotheses. Each of these hypotheses is quite bold. Welcome to our channel. Today, let's explore some of these hypotheses. Let's get started. The Lord of the Rings Saturn is the most easily identifiable planet in the solar system. Of course, it's all thanks to the rings. Just by looking at the rings, even elementary school students can say, oh, that's Saturn. These distinctive rings were first observed in 1610, when Galileo Galilei directed his telescope towards this planet. Since then, the curiosity of planetary scientists has been fixated on this thin ring. Numerous icy rocks orbiting the planet form layers, ranging from 5 to 30 meters in thickness, and due to their high reflectivity, they are clearly visible from Earth. But where did they come from? Since the launch of Voyager 2, astronomers have considered the hypothesis that these rings were born from the destruction of a moon. The Cassini mission, rather than determining the origin of the rings, provided clues about their age. In the final stage of this project, the grand finale, Cassini flew 22 orbits between the planet and the inner rings, collecting data on this unusual region. In 2023, a paper was published in the journal Science Advances. This paper utilized Cassini's data, likening Saturn's rings to a common household carpet and determining their age. If you don't have a vacuum cleaner at home, dust will always accumulate on the carpet. The thickness of the dust and the speed at which it accumulates can reveal how long the carpet has been on the floor. The same process is happening with Saturn's icy rings. In other words, cosmic dust is settling on the surface of the rings. Results from observations and modeling suggest that this process began relatively recently perhaps as old as 400 million years ago. There's a possibility it might have started as recently as 100 million years ago. Therefore, it is conceivable that Saturn's rings appeared around the same time dinosaurs roamed the Earth. The Mystery of Saturn's Day In 2004, the spacecraft Cassini reached Saturn. One of its primary missions was to measure Saturn's rotation speed and determine the length of its day. However, this mission ended up posing more questions than it answered. Planets like Saturn lack a solid surface, making it challenging to observe terrain to determine rotation time. For Jupiter, the problem was solved by measuring the speed at which the magnetic poles rotate around the geographic poles. But in the case of Saturn, where the magnetic and geographic poles align, this method couldn't be applied. Therefore, the renowned rings of Saturn, known as the Lord of the Rings, required a different approach. The method employed was measuring the intervals of radio waves, known as radio periods. At the intersection of the ionosphere and magnetosphere, radio pulses are generated. This allows for the measurement of the planet's rotation speed. Thus, Cassini's instruments swiftly went to work. However, the results quickly stumped scientists. In reality, such measurements had already been conducted by Voyager 2 in the 1980s. However, over the course of 20 years, the bulk rotation speed had changed significantly. Based on new observations, the length of a day became 10 hours, 45 minutes, and 45 seconds, six minutes longer than Voyager 2's data. Astronomers, drawing on their experience observing other planets, knew that a planet doesn't simply undergo rapid acceleration or deceleration. Thus, they began searching for a new method to measure Saturn's day length. Furthermore, after analyzing radio signals, it was revealed that the rotation speeds in Saturn's southern and northern hemispheres differed. This complicated matters further. Therefore, 
a more reliable method to ascertain the day length needed to be found. In 2019, new data was released, stating a day length of 10 hours, 33 minutes, and 38 seconds. Compared to the previous measurement, there was once again a difference of 12 minutes. This time, researchers used Cassini's data, but focused not on Saturn itself, but on the oscillations of Saturn's rings caused by the planet's powerful gravitational pull. The result was the realization that these rings function as seismic detectors. Through the rings, a map of the planet's internal structure could be created, simultaneously allowing for the calculation of its rotation period. Additionally, this research revealed that Saturn's interior differs from previous conceptions. The core of Saturn occupies nearly 60% of Saturn's diameter. Composed of rock, ice, and gas, the core shows no signs of strong convection. This challenges theories regarding the origin of Saturn's magnetosphere. Could it be that within the core, metallic hydrogen generating Saturn's magnetic field is still welling up? The answer remains unknown. Secrets Hidden Within Saturn It was a relief for astronomers to have calculated Saturn's day length, but the anomaly and the radio periods remained a persistent mystery. Inside Saturn, there should be remarkable and unique phenomena not observed in other gas giants. This extends to differences in the auroras as well. On Earth, Auroras are caused by solar wind particles flying along magnetic field lines. Similarly, Jupiter generates its own flow of charged particles through activities like satellite volcanoes. However, Saturn continues to harbor something that unsettles scientists. In 2022, a hypothesis was announced regarding what might be amiss within Saturn. To explore this hypothesis, Researchers spent a month five years ago using the Keck Observatory spectrometer in Hawaii to measure the traces of infrared radiation in the upper atmosphere. They then applied this data to create a map of Saturn's ionosphere. The results revealed that a majority of the auroras are generated by the movement of Saturn's atmosphere itself. The atmosphere accelerates the flow of ion particles, transforming them into an ion wind. Winds reaching speeds of 3 meters per second, absorbing energy from the overheated thermosphere, not only influence the strength and formation of auroras, but also occur directly above Saturn's enigmatic hexagon. Earlier, I mentioned the unsuccessful attempt to measure the rotation time using radio pulses. The cause of this failure was precisely this atmospheric variability. Thus, with a single study, two of Saturn's mysteries were simultaneously unraveled. However, mysteries still linger within Saturn. What's happening in Saturn's thermosphere? Earth's thermosphere is the region where the majority of heat from the Sun is absorbed. Temperatures here range from 200 Kelvin to 2000 Kelvin. According to data from Cassini, Saturn's thermosphere temperature rises from 370 Kelvin at the equator to 590 Kelvin at the poles. Quite high temperatures indeed. However, considering that the sixth planet in our solar system is significantly farther from the Sun, why is it so warm? If sunlight isn't heating Saturn's atmosphere, what is responsible for the warmth? Several hypotheses have been proposed. A 2023 study suggests that the heating of Saturn's thermosphere is caused by its rings. In other words, material from the rings falls onto Saturn's surface, warming the upper atmosphere. Cassini revealed that the rings are losing up to 2,800 kilograms of material per second. This is enough to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool in just one second. If this data is correct, and at this rate of absorbing ice particles, Saturn's rings could be sustained for another 300 million years. However, scientists are not entirely confident in the accuracy of this data. In 2023, they launched a project to investigate ice precipitation on Saturn using the James Webb Space Telescope and the Keck Observatory's observational tools. It's possible that the rate at which gravity carves away the rings is faster than previously assumed, but 
that remains uncertain. Saturn drawing life from Enceladus In June 2023, the James Webb Space Telescope revealed Saturn veiled in a new mysterious light. The rings of Saturn were emitting an ominous bright glow. This image was captured in infrared. According to scientists, this method allows them to observe the darker aspects of a planet's activities. At a wavelength of 3.23 micrometers, the surface of Saturn appears very dim. Consequently, astronomers find it easier to identify faint satellites and observe celestial bodies like Enceladus, which may harbor the potential for life. Enceladus completes one orbit around Saturn in just 33 hours, supplying water to Saturn's rings through plumes. By observing these plumes, astronomers can better investigate signs of life that may exist on this moon. However, on the flip side, as Enceladus loses water, it loses the potential to become humanity's second home. Quite a daunting prospect. What do you think about the chance of relocating to Enceladus? Share your thoughts in the comments. That concludes today's video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate a thumbs up and a repost on social media. Your actions greatly contribute to the growth of this channel. Thank you for your support. Farewell for now. Until next time, goodbye everyone.